So this morning we've decided to uh, check out that temple we saw yesterday from that uh, that viewpoint and we're just trying to work out a way to go up. <laughs> I dare say it involves some stairs. Turn right, then. You will arrive at your destination. We just parked up the car at the foot of the stairs that are going to take us up to the big Buddha. And the first thing we saw on our left is the wreck of this old aeroplane. Your guess is as good as mine. Right, I think we're talking about 400 steps or something. Let's go. I love the sight of stairs in the morning. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? They've got the uh, the stair count on the way up, so you don't have to bother counting them yourself. So I guess we we're uh, probably about two thirds of the way up, or half the way up. A staircase full of giant millipedes. Usually it's monkeys. Over 300 steps in, and we got our first rest spot. <sighs> See what the view's like. <sighs> That's nice enough. Where did you disappear to? There's an adventure trail, I'll show it you. An adventure trail? Uh, halfway up. Ah. Isn't that nice of them? They provide this nice little shelter with a seat in it so you can uh, spend a few minutes recovering once you get to the top of the stairs. Excellent. I believe in the centre of the frame now is the mountain we went up yesterday evening with the viewpoint that was overlooking this Buddha. I think that's it there. Today, our designated drone pilot is Mr. Baldy Brian. Mr. Baldy Brian, what's on the flight schedule? The flight uh, schedule is a drone out. Cruising approximately 200 meters. That's the one. Followed by some circuit. It sounds good, mate. It sounds good. Take off.
Now, for most people who come to Kawong Padan and want to go up, this is the start. They've got to go up the 3,790 steps up to the top, up to the temple up there. You can see it right up the top up there. But this is Carl's Thailand, and I've got another route planned to get up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the scenic trail here, which goes up and it follows the ridge of that mountain, the ridge of the mountain behind the big Buddha, up to the peak there, which is where the temple is. That's the route we're going to take. <laughs> That's it, Kalpat. I could never, when I first come to Thailand, I could never figure out how Kalpat Mu would have absolutely nothing to do with a cow. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it made yeah, no yeah, sense yeah, at yeah, all to yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, a cow should have been a moo, shouldn't it? Yeah. You know? yeah, <laughs> right, here we are. The start of the trail. Okay, we're about 20 minutes in. We've gained about 119 meters, elevation 214 meters. And we've traveled about 750 meters from the beginning, as you can probably see by the condition we're in. I don't know if you can uh, pick up the angle there, but I'd say this ascent was probably like 45 degrees. It is so steep so hot and slippery mud uh, ropes Isn't that a nice little contrast? These two young folk running down and myself and Baldy Brian scrambling up with the aid of the ropes. That's it, Brian, come on. I need some scenes of genuine suffering. None of that fake stuff, come on. <laughs> You've hit your best. So that run up? Yeah, yeah, that would, uh, I could video you afterwards. I'd die if I try that. It's easier to crawl up than it is to run down. Sorry, it's harder to crawl up than it is to run down. I, th I think they might have guessed that. <laughs> they might have seen through my joke. <laughs> <sighs> wow, it's a hard little section, this one. It certainly is, mate. It certainly is. <laughs> but every cloud has a silver lining. And my memory is, is that once we get up to this bit, we've got a nice little flat section. Then we've got a couple of little dips and valleys before we get to the temple, but I do believe that is the worst of it over. Oh, we've got another hiker. So the cap. Okay, she's just confirmed that we can get into the temple from here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. แต่ว่าต้องอ้อมเลยนะคะเค้าจะไปตามทางนี้ได้เลยค่ะครับตามทางเลยแล้วแล้วมันจะไปถึงโอเคอ๋อนี่จะไปชมวิวเหรอคะ
ต่คิดว่าไปที่เขาก็เปิดใหม่คุณครับครับคุณครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Oh, it's up to the up to the viewpoint. I think. Is it? Was it sighted? Posted? It was, wasn't it? The undergrowth's a bit. I don't know if this was the viewpoint or not. This was it. It's nice, nice up here anyway. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, look at that. Right, well, for a while we had a, a nice, almost flat bit, but uh, it's very undulating now, like a couple of uh, valleys. But we are nearer the end than the beginning. And my memory has let me down. <laughs> My recollection was that once we reached that plateau, there were a couple of little ups and downs, but nothing bad. But this incline now is terrible. It could be the worst out of the lot. <laughs> Hopefully, I think we're probably about three quarters of the way there now. But, uh, oh, yeah, I'd forgotten how tough this stretch was. Do you the ring? This is the point of optimal suffering. I'd forgotten how steep that section was. I forgot about this. It was part. a crippler, wasn't it? Yeah. It was awful, it was as bad as anything. Here we are, we're arriving at the temple, but, oh fuck, we got barbed wire, and we're at the other side of where we were. Let's hope we can find our way through this barbed wire. Because this doesn't look like much fun at all. It's the first time I've ever seen a Buddhist temple beyond barbed wire. What is going on? Hey, what is the world coming to? Well, last time I was here in the height of all the lockdowns, it was a hot day and I was up here for over an hour and I did not see another person. All I saw was a few temple dogs. But the number of temple dogs seems to have expanded rapidly since my last visit. So we find ourselves climbing up the mountain and then going up. More flights of stairs, we had to loop around. I think this is where we come in last time, wasn't it? From the right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you are. Oh, we've done some climbing today. Oh, nice to see it. The entrance from last time is now yeah, solid barbed wire. There. Lovely. Over that dot, hey, over exactly. That Lovely. Yeah. Scoots, can I get? Sorry, man. Yeah. Well, we appear to be standing on a solid gold rock. A solid golden nugget of huge proportions. Right. Yeah, down. and a happy dog licking the sweat off my legs. I'm not carrying it down. So these are, that's at an elevation of 622 metres, just over four kilometres walk, total ascent 585 metres, moving time one hour 53, stop time 13 minutes, moving average 2.2 kilometres an hour, average 1.9 kilometres an hour. Now, if you're like most people, you take the stairway up, this 
is the end of the 3,790 steps, I believe, to get up here. Uh, in Buddhism, they believe in making merit, you know, they either, you know, sort of like making offerings in, in the name of their religion. So it might be something like dedicating money or effort or labor, or even putting in effort to visit uh, Buddhist monuments. You know, they believe that throughout your life, you accumulate bun merit, and then hopefully in your next life, you were born a bit higher up. Hand it to these temples, they, uh, they tend to find themselves in the nicest spots. And here we have, I believe, a Buddha footprint. So, we always do water. first really nice view down. Someone says, please put out the candles. Have you had birds attack it yet? Not yet. <laughs> Looks so near, doesn't it, from here? That's down where the car is parked. Right, here we go then. We're going to start the journey down. Nearly 4,000 steps.